Hey everybody, I am going to talk to you about using your star and planet locator. So here's mine. Uh, you can see that it is a square. It's kind of really a diamond. Um, there's a blue circle that turns on the inside. And on the outside, you've got your uh, times. You can see there's midnight, 11 p.m., 10 p.m., 1 a.m. Um, and so there you go. And so as the, the blue circle turns, the dates are on the blue circle. And so when you line up the date with the time, what you see inside of here, inside this oval, that is going to be your night sky. So let's say that we want to find something on July 15th, July 15th at 10 p.m., July 15th, 10 p.m., this is what the night sky is going to look like. All right. And so as at 10 p.m., right on the western horizon is the constellation Virgo. So there's Virgo on the western horizon. Right on the eastern horizon, you've got these constellations here. And as the time turns, so as it goes right along that same date of July 15th. Now we're at July 15th, 11 p.m. Now we're at July 15th, midnight. Now we're at July, essentially, 16th, 1 a.m. These things keep turning. And so as the Earth spins, it appears as if the stars spin just like that. So that's why things look different in the sky as you go. So some things to keep in mind. Uh, this is to be used as the the sky. So if you look down when you're looking at this, things are going to be backwards. So it's opposite a map. On a map, north is usually up, south is usually down. But usually on a map, you've got east and west over there. And so now, because you're actually looking up, if you were to hold this up and look up like that, west is on this side. East is on this side. So that's why those are backwards, right? As time goes, things turn this way. And so just like in real life, constellations are going to appear on the eastern horizon. They rise on the eastern horizon. You see them all throughout the night. And then they set on the western horizon. So they disappear on the west. So that's a quick little introduction to using the star and planet locator. The one last thing is that your zenith, your zenith is right in the middle. So your zenith is what you would see right in the middle. So that's going to change. Look for the zenith right at the middle. All right. That's all we got for your star and planet locator.